Hi guys, welcome to the video. This is my solo high score run of Sabbath and Song. Uh, I'm using Night Stalker. We'll be using Midnight Coup as our primary, Distant Relation as our energy, and Thunderlord as our heavy. And obviously, we're using Orpheus Rig because we're using Night Stalker. The modifiers I'm going to be running, I've got a 60 power handicap that will give us whether our modifiers are 3.7 score, mod score times. And I'm using Arc Singe, Heavyweight. Momentum and match game. Now, the reason I'm going with Ark is obviously for the Thunderlord. The reason I'm going with Tether, you will see when we get to that point. Tether is good for this, but it's not what I'm using to get the score. So, it's a bit strange. It's the first time I've done Sabbath and Song since Forsaken come in, and this is kind of where it all began for me. I put a couple of runs up, a bit of YouTube history here. I put a couple of runs up, and they were reasonably badly received uh, and then I'd done the Paramedium and then Sabbath and Song is where the channel really took a hit I really enjoy this Nightfall but what I will say about it is it's unique in its in, in, the, in, the, in the sense that you can't run past anything you have to kill everything so we've got Ark which is risky there's no two ways about it it's risky to do Ark on this because there are there's a bit of art going on. So, and the other thing, as as you'll notice, and as you probably know, th there's all, even though we've got match game on, which we need to get that 3.7 modifier, we need it to be able to use heavyweight. Uh, th there's all damage types. So, but I think there's only three enemies that have got a void shield. So, the Thunderlord can deal with him, but another reason for going uh, Night Stalker is the grenade. The grenade can deal with the shields. So as you've seen, we've come in, we've cleared this first bit of the area. I always stand behind this pillar. Always have, always will, because it blocks the wizard. Now, you can take the wizard now. If you see on the left, top left, just there where, when I said that the wizard had appeared. You can take the wizard there, but I, I just make sure I take out all of these first. You know, make sure that you've got none of those, run, none of the throw running about. And take down the shield with the scout rifle and Bob's your uncle. As you've seen, I, I was fa as a term I kind of use, I was feathering my fire button with the, the Thunderlord. So I didn't. Thunderlord is pretty, pretty kind of OP. And it's because of its fire rate more than anything else. And it can go a bit crazy. And you can end up using more ammunition than you intended to. So as you can see, I put a shot on that knight simply so that he would stop. Does his dodge? I was hoping that he would dodge towards me. I fired the tether just simply because I've got it, not for any other reason, not because I needed it, not because it, just just because I had it. And it does, as you've seen, I got my tether back because of the Orpheus and it cleared up the ads pretty quickly. The exploders will always come from, from, come from there, and it. I, I, as you'll have noticed in the video, I always come across to the stairs because it, it gives me that range, safety from the ads, especially exploders. So that's this first area clear. Properly clear now. Uh, we'll go to this doorway. We'll activate the door and then we'll put a tether in front of the door. This will tether both sets of these ads. And it just makes it a little bit easier to deal with it's not not required, but as you can see, very simple. Dodge reload to get the invisibility. And then what we're going to do is take out the knights, which hopefully we'll be able to get some chained lightning effect. Now, we never got that last night, so we're just going to go for the ogre. And I, think, I found it quite interesting, laughable interesting actually, that uh, Bungie have buffed the range of, of LMGs. Like the Thunderlord isn't almost a scout rifle. <laughs> but I, I take it will be for other heavy machine guns that are coming in next week. So, 34,000. Pretty good score for this time. But what I would say, and I've said it before in previous videos. I kind of I kind of look to, to get about... I don't look to get... I, I base how well I'm doing on on the score per 10 minute per minute. So I'm kind of looking for 10,000, roughly, it's not, 
it's just a rough guy, 10,000 per minute, you know, somewhere along there, you don't get it, but it's all, it's for the first 10 minutes really, so if I can keep myself kind of close to that, then I'm happy, the other thing I will say, you will notice there are times where I will go for enemies with my primaries or energy when I could just take them out with a super or take them out with heavy. That is just purely to generate more heavy ammo. Because, as I've said before in previous videos, but I will reiterate in case people are watching this video that haven't watched some of the other ones, uh, you very rarely get heavy ammo from heavy ammo kills so i just want to take all of these enemies don't want any stragglers and then i'll hit this knight this wizard sorry with a void a void grenade and because the void grenade will keep damaging her we don't have to use heavy we just reload and just take her out primary because you never know you might get some heavy now make sure i get my health back because i don't want to attack any any areas where where i've got low health Pop a super down there, pop your tether, and it should tether all the ads that come in, and there we go. Now what we'll do now, there is an, there is, I'm, I'm pretty sure there's still an ad up, there is. So we'll get behind here, and I'll dodge into this wall, just to get my invisibility, and I can just pick the orb back up, and then take out this ad, and we're good to go. Very simple, very straightforward. Now this area is made a lot easier due to the Thunderlord, obviously. Uh, but you do score a fair amount of points in this area, this next area. So because they've changed the way the Nightfall works, at this point, you can go through either doorway. This is why I'm not just running up to there. This is why I'm waiting to see. Because I'd, I'd done this about four or five times. And a couple of times I got the Strike version. So as you can see, I wasn't sure which way I'd have to go because it does put you the other way now. Beforehand, this was always the way this nightfall went. It always went the same way. But now, it doesn't. So I can waste a little bit of... Not waste, I can burn a little bit on on those ads because I dropped a brick. You, you, you'll you always have the highest you can have because heavy, heavy machine guns have just come out. And as you can see, I've got an exotic. It's very cool. And then I get the Telesto. Not so cool. <laughs> I, I done my obligatory uh, shake my head, not being happy at that. But uh, again, it's an exotic. So, yeah, the, the, because because heavy machine guns have just come out, there's no ammo that there's no armor that can bolster the the amount you get. Uh, so, two twenty is what I kind of look for. If I, you know, that's the maximum you can get. If I do get some heavy, then I'm, I'm, I'm a little bit... It frees me up a little bit to use heavy ammo. This, that jump there, I'd done, I done a run of this earlier, and I am not kidding you. I couldn't jump up there for love nor money. Now, you can see that I've... I've... Uh, I'm dropping quite a bit of heavy, and that is probably down to the fact that I've stacked a uh, heavy ammo finder. So, as well as having heavy weight... I also have uh, two or three of my pieces of armor have heavy heavy finder on it, so I'm just burning a little bit heavy just for just for time. And that ogre just did not like that, and it's I mean that's a lot of points. That's that's nearly ten thousand points just for one enemy. So now we'll go back to the primary and the energy train. We don't we don't want to leave ourselves in a position. You never want to leave yourself in a position. I've done it where you, you don't have any heavy. So I know I've got a brick there. I'm trying not to pick it up, but I've, I've also got a brick in front of me. So we're good for heavy ammo. Really good for heavy ammo. When you get to this part, I would do this in sections. So I would do this bottom section and then back away just far enough that that wizard can't really get a decent, you know, you're not really in her range because it is arc. So she's going to hurt and this just shows what the thunder lord is capable of that's insane to be able to do that amount of dps from that range as i said before and i will say it again because it's the truth i am really excited to see what kind of 
uh, heavy, uh, legendary heavy machine guns we get uh, in black armor because it, uh, I would like to mix and match. I would like to ha be able to use other weapons with a heavy machine gun. So we're doing okay. Eight, Eighty-six thousand nine minutes in. We're just behind what what I what what I look for. So in this next section, I just burn a bit of heavy here. Why not? Uh, in this next section, this is where we get our first taste of Void, which is the two wizards. Now, another thing I'll say, uh, during, when you're using the Thunderlord, try and be aware of its of its chaining capabilities because it can actually it'll save you a lot of heavy ammo if if you can if you can be a little bit uh, if you can really. You know, keep your eye on, on on its chaining, because you could if there's a heap if there's quite a few ads around, and you take out a shielded knight for talking six. If there's a if there's a load of ads, it might not be necessary to shoot the shoot the other ads. You know, the chaining ability could could actually deal with them itself. So as you can see there, I've got my tether and I tethered all the ads there. And it kind of helped me deal with uh, the wizards. I thought that was a wizard there, and it wasn't. So really, really easily done. I could have tethered these ads, but what's the point? You know, there you go. They're all dead. We're at one hundred one thousand eleven minutes. The tether was for one thing and one thing only, but it ended up being really good for just about everything. So I'm just going to tether these and hopefully we can get the exploders as well. And if we get the exploders, it really gives us, you know, we stand more of a chance if we can get all the exploders, which we didn't. But if we could have, it would have given us a real chance to get our tether back. But, I mean... The only reason I'm saying stuff like that is because I'm using Orpheus Rig and Orpheus Rig's thing is to get your tether back. So if I don't get it back, it's like, oh. <laughs> but it, there's enough ads between now and when we need to use our tether again that uh, it's, 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 it's not a massive deal. The reason I, ch I chose tether was to tether the... There used to be this thing with, with people that done solos back in destiny one that the, the kind of the thing was surviving the double shrieker of the sabbath and song and people would take grenade launchers in there's a, a grenade launcher that uh i can't remember its name but it uh it was like a flashbang grenade you know it, it was it was it some fun something in thunder i can't remember what it was called but 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 it would stun blind it's it's prey. It's the enemies, and people were coming and hit the shriekers with it, uh, going visible. There was there was a lot of different ways that people found to do this. This is my way. Now I'm saying it's my way. It's the way I'm going to use. I seen it being used and never thought once. I never thought once to tether the shriekers, and nobody did. Nobody was doing that. So I do have to I do have to give credit where credit's due. I did uh I was put onto that by someone else's run. Very, very good strategy. Thank you very much, Easel. That's a very, very good strategy. Uh and as you can see, if you hit that centre bit with a void grenade, you'll take both the shields down. You don't have to wait or waste any ammo. And because I'm trying to get some heavy, then uh you know We'll take out we'll take out the rest of the the ads with primary and energy. Now in here you're gonna have a wanted enemy. If you don't kill the wanted enemy, which I didn't really want to, which is why I went invisible and ran right past all the all the ads. Uh, I didn't want to actually engage, but I remembered if you don't, she comes into the room with you, and it can be a nightmare when you've got a wizard on arc burn wanting to kill you as well so i figured once i got in here i thought right okay it's all score 
I'll kill all these exploders, see if I get some heavy ammo. If I get heavy ammo, I'll, I'll engage. If not, I'll try and do it without. And there we go, I got a brick. Uh, I can't remember if I got any more, but I just figured that once I got that brick, I figured I would just go for it. So she's solar shielded. You can come in here. The, the next step of the fight won't start until you shoot the crystal. So we're just basically gathering a bit more score. And there she is. And once you take our shield down, the Thunderlord really... It, it, it doesn't respect anybody's anybody's position. I love the Thunderlord. And it's really strange. Because for what... I wasn't the biggest fan of it in Destiny 1. I just... There were other things. There was uh, another one called Nemesis Star. I, I preferred that. I didn't really like any of the others. But uh, Nemesis Star was pretty cool. So, now that now that we've got in here, we've got 136,000. We're losing score all the time because now we've, we've reached the 15 minutes. So, we're going to position myself up to the right of where we are now. We're going to try and kill Savathun in two phases. So, as you can see, we're going to go up here and this gives us access to both of her positions from the start. So, we'll take, take out the crystal. And then what we're going to do is unleash as much as we can. And then reload against the wall, which keeps us up here. And the reason you want to be up here is you're in a perfect prime position to attack her in both positions. And you're off the ground because obviously you can have a lot of throw. Because the, the you access, when she moves position the first time, that's when the throw will come out. Now, the key to opening up... Now, I possibly... I possibly could have just... Took out all the ads... And just went for went for Savathun... But... The reason I, 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 I'm killing the ads is... We've still got some time... So we can still kind of... Get a bit of score... And it's not... I'm not looking to, to gain score... I'm looking to not lose score... Because now we're scoring... We're, you're scoring points after 15 minutes... At a 50% ratio... So... 100 point kill beforehand will now be 50 point kill. So we're just, we're literally, we're going to kill these ads so that uh, we don't lose as much score at the end. But also, that knight is pretty nippy. Uh, the, knight, the knight does quite a bit of damage. We don't really want the knight blasting us. And um, if you're going to take the knight, you might as well take the acolytes because, again, we don't, we don't want anybody blasting us when we're trying to deal with with Savathun. So there we go. Everything's down. So take 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 Savathun. Take, uh, take your weapon out. I don't even know what I was going to say there. <laughs> so as you can see, Savathun became active. So we we took out took her out in our first position. Just backed up. So you've seen how much damage we've done there. As long as as long as you, you you've got enough rounds in in your clip, if you've got a full clip, one clip should finish up if you've done the right amount of damage in the first two phases. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. I appreciate the view. Hope you enjoyed the run, and I'll see you in the next video.